Alright y'all, we are starting a new series on the channel and it's actually a new series to the world. This is going to break down the series premiere of OWN's soon to be hit, Delilah. I ain't gonna lie y'all, what drew me into this series is the fact that Miss Tony Childs, Jill Marie Jones, forever Miss Tony Childs honey, um, I'm glad to see her back in another series and the plot seemed to be amazing and really drama filled which is really up my alley so I had to tune in and of course I had to talk about it. The show Delilah is from the creators of Greenleaf which was a mega hit on OWN's network and I'm gonna be honest y'all I never watched Greenleaf but all of my friends rave about that show like they loved every single season of the five seasons and I hear that it's going to be spawning a spinoff featuring the amazing phenomenal Lynn Whitfield I cannot wait to check that out and I have so much to catch up on I gotta catch up on, on Greenleaf because I know I'm gonna watch Lynn's show so I gotta go back and watch Greenleaf because I definitely want to support her she's an amazing actress icon love her as you can tell I will watch something if my faves are in it so <laughs> there we are but Delilah centers around Delilah Connolly a headstrong highly principled lawyer in Charlotte North Carolina who left a demanding white shoe law firm a decade ago and hung up her own shingle so that she can make raising her kids her number one priority as I mentioned the series is going to also be starring Jill Marie Jones and she's going to be playing the antagonist and best friend to Delilah who is played by newcomer Mahara Hill but enough of the nuts and bolts around the series let's talk about episode one the episode starts throwing us right into the thick of Delilah's life and we see that she's a mother of two she seems like a mother of three because she has three kids but a little bit more on that as we get into the episode um she appears to be a separated or maybe divorced from her child's father or her children's father and she's trying to get him to catch up on child support and he ain't got two hundred dollars two hundred dollars y'all so I don't even know what this man does for a living to start the episode, but we're going to have to wait and see a little bit more about that. Him and this whole $200 really blew me, but we can definitely see that Delilah is a boss. Delilah runs her own law firm, as mentioned in the overview, and has an amazing assistant that seems to be super efficient. And these two black women are just doing it, running the day, seamlessly working together. But Delilah's day gets interrupted when a friend from the past, Leah Davis, pops up with a case. She is claiming that she was wrongfully terminated from her job and we don't get the full in and out because Delilah at this point decides that she's not going to take on any new cases. And, but she's going to do some preliminary snooping around and sussing things out and then submit an injunction so that her little friend can not get kicked out of her apartment but she's gonna have to find somebody else to take the case and then that's when you see her meet up with her girlfriend who was played by jill marie jones miss tony childs i gotta say that one more time y'all and i'm gonna stop okay cool um and this is what we have been waiting for this is what we saw in the teaser trailers for the show this is kind of what brought me in we're 10 minutes into the episode and now we get to see these two friends here and we also get to learn about exactly what's going to be the driving force of this show jill plays tamara roberts and tamara roberts is not messing around she is pushing hard for delilah not to take this case and it almost makes you question like all right girl let it go because she continues to bring it up throughout their lunch and we can't really figure out why because at that point Tamara isn't necessarily on the case she just kind of seems like she has some type of issue with uh Leah and then again it might be that Tamara knows that she's going to wind up being assigned to the case because she does work for the only law firm in Charlotte the top law firm in Charlotte that has all of the resources and power that a corrupt or questionable corporation could need to make something like this just disappear and go away in this premiere episode, we really get a skim of what's happening in Delilah's world. We get to learn that third kid that we see in the beginning is actually her nephew. Her brother is a soldier who was injured in war and is back home, but also re rehabilitating at this center. And we don't necessarily know the ins and outs of what's happening over there, but his wife is estranged and has kind of abandoned him and the son and Delilah has taken on the son. And clearly there's some tension surrounding that. We get the newcomer law student 
agent that comes to do an informational interview with Delilah and then pitches Delilah on hiring her, which ultimately by the end of the episode, we learn that she's going to do because she has decided to take Leah's case and is going to need more manpower. But I definitely feel like there's something going on with this hometown uh, girl. She comes in very authentic, very down to earth, but also a little too comfortable to begin with. So it's going to be interesting to see what she actually brings to the table and she also makes a note about a big case in Delilah's past featuring her assistant and we don't get all the details about that but we just get the little easter egg the little seed planted so we're going to learn of how Delilah and her assistant actually came to be which I think is also going to be interesting. We get to see the real deal with Delilah and her children's father. They're definitely estranged. He probably has cheated. They are not together. And he is acting real baby daddy-ish. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It appears that he's some type of writer. But if you can't afford $200, sir, for your child support for these two kids, because the child support should be way more, but you know, I digress. Then I don't know how successful you are at it. But then again, he also goes out of his way to get an expensive violin to the tune of $5,000 for their prodigy daughter. So I have no idea what's going on with you. And I'm really looking forward to them to, to really um, show a little bit more with him because right now I'm just thinking he's raggedy. And I don't want to just think this man is raggedy if he ain't raggedy, but he's, he's feeling real raggedy adjacent right now. And I love getting to know these different types of black kids her daughter is a violinist and it is beautiful to see she's clearly a prodigy as you see her move throughout the episode and just effortlessly um performs beautifully it's so amazing to watch i'm not familiar with that whole part of the music industry but she sounded absolutely amazing and it's clear by the characters around her that she has a gift so i'm interested to see where she goes with this and how we are going to get to see this continue to be manifested the only thing I'm struggling with with her daughter is why does her daughter have such an attitude towards her um and that might have something to do with the divorce or the separation but it really sucks that this girl is so talented musically but has a really really bad attitude and hey that might just be a thing that's running between both her kids because her little rebellious son thinks he can do whatever he wants can come and go as he pleases and yeah i'm going to double down and say that maybe they are acting out because of the separation but we don't really know how long the parents haven't been together so we also need to get better context on that so that we can see like if they only separated within a year or so maybe two then we can understand why there's still so many feelings and unresolved issues that are manifesting right now but these two kids while they seem like really great kids they need some attitude adjustments for sure and then we really get to see little bits and pieces of who Delilah is in the choices that she makes so she chooses to go up to Greg Shea's house and to try to get more information as she's digging around before she figures out that she does want to take this case and you can see that she's a woman of strong convictions and moral high ground like she really wants to do what's right she really wants to help people and in in cases in which she can she wants to save people this is what i'm thinking is going to be her number one conflict is that she's going to put herself in positions to compromise herself and not necessarily in an ethical way but just in a safety way in a mental health type of way because she's always putting other people before herself and she's always wanting to do the right thing and this you can also see the seeds start to get planted between her and tamara because tamara is not the type of person tamara is always going to choose herself tamara is going to make the best decision for herself and it's going to be interesting to see how these best friends attempt to navigate these two very strong points within their personality when put up against each other in a legal case. Y'all, I definitely think that we got a hit on our hands. This series is juicy right out the gate. It gives us Southern mis murder mystery a ton of intellect, different sets of interests for these black people. I'm just like, I'm enamored. I don't, I have not seen anything like this on television. So I'm like, yo, let me like tune in. I'm definitely going to be tuning in to this series throughout the first season. They actually premiered two episodes on their premiere night so i do have the episode two recap breakdown coming right behind this video because they played episodes one and two back to back and then we're going to jump right into it and do weekly 
breakdowns on this series. Tell me, have you checked out Delilah? It comes on OWN on Tuesday nights, I believe, right after Queen Sugar. And I want to know now in the comment section below, have you seen it? Would you like to see it now that you've watched this episode? Tell me all of what you think and feel in the comment section down below. I'm your host, Erica Vane, and I break down television shows that you love, that I love, that are super interesting with amazing stories. I do film reviews, entertainment, news updates, and more. And you should join the tribe by hitting subscribe. If you like this Delilah breakdown, then you will love our Queen Sugar content. So you can check out the Queen Sugar playlist here. Or you can jump into a little bit more drama on the dangerous side by checking out our Snowfall playlist here. I'm Erica Vane, and I'll see you in the next video.